Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great! To be great! To be great! Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video, you guys. I am so, so, so excited for this video. So, as y'all can tell by the title, we are going to be making festivals. If you don't know what festivals is, well, you're going to find out in this video. It's basically like a flour. It's like flour and cornmeal mixed together with water. You knead it and you fry it. I don't want to say it's like fried dough, but I feel like it's as satisfying as fried dough. So, I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Um, and you can pretty much eat it with anything you eat it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. But yeah, let's get into it. So as y'all will see, I already kneaded um, the dough and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna pick up from there. I kneaded it based on the instructions on the back. Um, I told y'all, y'all gonna see in the video anyway. And now um, we're gonna pick up from after I kneaded the flour or the kneaded the mix, and then um, <laughs> I'm gonna fry it now. So. Um, let's get into that part of the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching I'm actually gonna be eating this with corned beef again. If you haven't seen how I made corned beef and cabbage um, Go check out the video the link will be in the description box and I'm gonna eat it with plantains as well and some rice It's gonna be good. So um, yeah, but this video is solely just on the how to make Festivals, so I hope y'all enjoy it comment below if you've tried it or whatnot Hey guys, so let's get into the video. I got my festival. Let me just open it. Pour it in a bowl. That's what you're going to need. You're going to need some milk. You're going to need some milk, some water, half a cup of that. So I got my measuring cup this time. All I did put some water and all you need is a little bit of milk for this it doesn't have to be a lot because it says water but I feel like the milk makes it fluffier so we're going to do that I don't pour all of it in at the same time as y'all know so for this part, we're just kneading the flour and then putting it to sit overnight. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. I take some of my liquid, pour it in. I don't pour all of it because I don't want it to get so sticky that it's no longer flour, that it's Play-Doh. So this is how I do it. And for those of y'all that don't like really getting underneath your nails dirty, these spatula things are very helpful to start off. I do use my hand after though, cause I don't know, I just don't like using this spatula all the way through, but you could definitely use this if you have like long nails or don't really wanna get underneath your nails dirty. So that's just a tip for this. So as it starts forming, you could definitely start adding more liquid. Again, be gentle. You don't want to put too much because nothing worse than it being like extremely more moist than you want it to be. So, yeah. And again, as it starts to form, you can start using your hands. So I'm about to use my hands. I already washed them off camera. So basically just keep kneading the flour. This process can take anywhere from like five to 10 minutes. If you're new to doing it, it may take you like 10 minutes, but if you've done it before, you feel comfortable, it'll honestly take you like five minutes to knead the flour, depending on how much you're making. So this is one pack of festival. It could feed anywhere from two to three people. And if you want, of course, to feed more people, you just have to use more than one pack. So if I'm feeding like seven to 10 people, then I use like 
three packs especially even four I don't think I've tried four but because it's such a hot commodity and people love it I do um, make more than enough sometimes but for the sake of this video I'm only using one pack so as you can see the dough is beginning to form I don't really think I need to add any more water or any more of what's remaining it's not really a lot that's left it's a drop but that drop can make a whole lot of difference so yeah I'm just no I'm scared to add it in I'm not I'm not even gonna add it in I say just leave it to the side because it's gonna come in handy later on Yeah, so you just want to knead the flour until all the powder is no longer in there. It pretty much looks like this. Or, or I'm going to just add the whole thing. I think it'll be fine. So. Alright, so I feel like it's done. The stickiness pretty much has gone away. All right, y'all, so I lied a little bit. Not really lied, but I forgot. So instead of doing, when I do it overnight, instead of leaving it in a bowl, cause it could get really dried out, I put it in a Ziploc bag and put a damp uh, napkin in the Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna show y'all, got my Ziploc bag. And just trust the process, y'all, okay? Got my ziplock bag, and now it's time to damp my paper towel, stick it in there. When I damp my paper towel, I literally wet the whole entire thing and then squeeze it out as tightly as possible and get out as much water as possible. I take it, as y'all can see, and I just And just like that. Just trust the process, y'all. And I'll show y'all the finished product tomorrow. Make sure all the air is like sealed out. Close it. And there you have it. So I'm gonna see y'all in the next part of the video after I take this out which will be following day or a few hours from now because it's what 1 18 a.m probably not gonna make it till later on tomorrow so so as y'all can see I let the flour I mean I let the dough sit overnight as I told y'all so time to take it out paper towels there flour is there y'all gonna need that pan again this and then basically you got to revive it a little bit um so i'm going to add like a tiny bit of water just to soften it a little bit So this is how much water I put. To me, this was like three or four tablespoons. Actually, I'm gonna just measure just to give y'all a better estimate. So that's one tablespoon first. Oh. So that's just to soften the dough a little bit because that's the only thing is once you put it in the fridge, it does get a little bit dried out, but once you add some water to it and kind of massage it in, it will come back to how it's supposed to. So that's two things of water, as y'all can see.
So this is just how I massage it in, y'all. So there, it's not as hard. I feel like you don't gotta put too much water. So for this amount, it's only one pack. Y'all could just do um, two tablespoons, massage it in, and it will revive back to normal. Y'all see that? I told y'all just trust the process and it's all gonna work out fine. So this only takes a few minutes to revive it. Honestly, I feel like this is the hardest part of, <laughs> of uh, making the festival is the kneading of the dough. And it's also my least favorite part, if I may say. So there y'all have it. It's pretty much done. So I'm gonna leave it to sit for like a minute or so because we got to go over here now to the fire as i told you i was making plantain so i got some leftover oil but i'm gonna add the oil in just to show y'all y'all could use a deep fryer to do this or y'all could just use a frying pan i've tried it with both i prefer the deep fryer but the frying pan does just as a good job so i'm gonna show y'all um how much oil to put in all that stuff and take it from there but i gotta wash this off of my hands first And with the oil again I just watch it I don't know exactly how much to put so as y'all can see so we got our festival <laughs> um, okay so I take some like this and I just roll it if you like them small then that's fine you can make them small i'm not too fond of them being small i made them small for the first time the other day and i honestly did not like the way that they came out so i'm gonna make them a little bit bigger than how i made them the other day longer if i may say because i feel like when they're longer they come out better and the other thing is they're going to rise so yeah and i've sit them and then I sit them on this cutting board just while the oil is heating up. So again, take nice size like that. Sometimes I re-massage it if it doesn't sit how I want it to, so. And that's the other thing to remember, the bigger you make them, the less you're going to make. The smaller you make them, the more you'll make. So, yeah. And that's that. So the fire is still not fully hot yet. So while it's heating up, I'm going to rinse this out, dry it, then stick a paper towel in there. When I put the paper towel in there, I'm going to put these in there once they're done cooking um, so that the oil can drain. So I'll be right back while the oil heats up. So as y'all can see, I'm back. The fire is starting to heat up because that little ball is starting to, you know, fizzle or whatever so once your fire is hot you just take them put them in there all right guys as y'all can see they're starting to rise so you can check like i told y'all it's going to start getting like golden brown Ooh, i don't want that to break so just turn them over Turn them over, turn them over, turn them over. Okay. 
all right guys so as y'all can see it's starting to get more and more golden brown other side so just turn it again turn it turn it turn it turn it turn it turn it yeah so very simple that little piece that I put in there is done but that's what golden brown means if y'all don't know the oil is pretty hot if y'all feel like it's getting too hot don't be scared to turn it down a little bit even to like medium or six just to make sure that you know the inside is thoroughly cooked but as I said once it's golden brown once it's golden brown you know that it's pretty much done on all sides by the way so this one is a perfect example of done so I'm gonna take it out stick it in here there's the finished product so as I told y'all I made other stuff to go with the festival you could pretty much eat it with anything you could eat it by itself but this is what I chose to make it with so there's rice the corned beef and cabbage again avocados and plantains so we got our taste tester over there number one so he gonna let us know how it tastes okay Hello, my name's Casey <laughs> This is my uh, girlfriend's food I'm trying out. Oh. This is a uh, festival cabbage and corned beef. Mm-hmm. Texture is very good. See how she she fried it perfectly. There's not any oil. It's just straight dough. Hmm. Very good. Ten out of ten. Thank you for your review. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, you gotta smile. Say hi. So weird. <laughs> Why? It's just Don't 30 seconds. Me. I'm filming you. No. Um, all right, so give me your feedback. No, How's the like festival? Right Not the whole food, but it's the good. festival. It's a town, town. All right, thank you. Well, this is some good stuff. I love it. <laughs> you rock, Chrissy. I love this. All right, what's your rating? 10 out of 10 or 9 10 out, out of 10? All right. Thank you for your rating. That concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye.